It's me, Simone, Zen Mommy, and I'm here. I help people with their spiritual awakening while I'm helping myself. Today is day three of my vacation to raise my vibration. And um, so far, yesterday I went to the beach. That was nice. And this morning I went to a, um, a local horse ranch. I decided to learn how to ride a horse um, to face my fear. I didn't really have a fear of riding horses, but you know, before I was awakened, I lived such this closed, shut up life. And I didn't really like animals. I didn't like fur. I hated how they feel. I wouldn't pick up a dog. I wouldn't pet a cat. And that is something, that's one of the changes that took place in my life after my awakening. Uh, my desires, attributes about me changed. Maybe it didn't so much change, but like opened me up to something that I blocked because of prejudices. My birth mother um, did not like animals at all. I remember as a, at a young age, I used to say, mommy, I want a monkey. Mommy, I want a cat. And she didn't like animals. And when I grew up, I didn't like animals. I didn't like being touched and licked by dogs. In fact, I was scared of dogs. And um, so I went to the ranch today to find out how much the riding costs. And let me tell you something. I think raising my vibration is working already. See, when you raise your vibration, you start attracting certain things in your life for your highest good and things that you need. So I, you know, I learned Reiki and I'm studying energy healing and I haven't really had anyone to practice on. You know, my friends and family, they're always too busy. They don't feel like they can sit down for like a session. And so she said that I could do my Reiki on the horses there. So at the same time, I'm getting in tune with myself, with nature, and I'm getting to get in tune with um, other animal beings. And so I think that is beautiful. And so I decided to come back to the um, my last video when I was in the, um, the park with the redwood trees. This is actually in that area, but I met someone today. Another thing I didn't have, having a, a child, being a single mother, it, I didn't have really any other mother friends or parents with children. I met someone today in the park with a baby the same age as Storm. And now we already have plans to go boating Friday. And so she told me about this hike up at the top of this mountain from the park. And this hike overlooked this beautiful San Pablo Dam Reservoir. It's so majestic. <laughs> it, let me tell you, I didn't know how long this hike was going to take coming up. And I'm going to tell you something, I'm kind of out of shape. I was like, there's so many times I was like, I'm going to turn, I want to turn around. And I was thinking, such as the journey of life, we head up this mountain. We're getting to the top. We're getting, we're trying to get to the Holy Grail. And I feel like that in this ascension process, I'm ascending out of this 3D dimension, okay? And so there's times where you get weary. And I was like in deep breath, I was taking my water, you know, I opened it up, drinking it, and I was just like, I don't know, I'm getting tired. My heart started beating, my blood started racing, but all I could start, I would look up and I, was, I started to see the light coming through the trees and the bushes, and I was just like, I'm almost there, I'm almost at the Holy Grail, and I might have had to stop a few times coming up, but once I got here, I got this beautiful, this beautiful, serene, majestic, heavenly scenery, and I'm happy to be here, so I decided to shoot my video here and let you guys know it's going good day three um i'm really excited i think that everybody should take some time if you can't take time off you know set aside some time a day for yourself now i plan to come to the park because i was going to study and meditate but i met this woman and i ended up doing this hike things don't always go as planned but i think as long as i'm raising focusing on myself and, and loving myself and putting myself first and getting in tune with nature then everything is going to work out and I, that's how we have to look at it in this life with the spiritual awakening it is a journey but always have a positive outlook and i promise you you will always have uh, positive outcomes all right you guys have a beautiful day peace and love namaste